We started in 1 Corinthians 12 a few weeks, a couple weeks ago. And, um, finish up chapter 12 tonight, and uh, I promise I, I, I won't be long. I am going to go back a little bit just because I kind of rushed through the last part. Um, just want to just just by way of getting into the last part here. Let's go to chapter tw- uh, 12, verse 12, uh, um, verse 18, sorry. Um, but now God hath set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him. And they were all one member. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are the many members yet one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head of the feet, I have no need of you. A church is the body of Christ, and we talked about that last week, and I just want to, before we get into the rest of this, just need to go through this again. Um, He is the head, amen? Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Each member has a specific designation for them to perform in order for the body to live life. God wants this body of Christ to have life. In order for the head to do what it must do, the body must have life. It is God's decision who is designed and designated to be what member they are, not ours, not the members. As a member, you do not decide which member you are. As a member, you do not decide what member another is. As a member, you do not decide whether you are a member or not. I know we make decisions, you know, my wife and I, well, actually, no, we didn't. My wife made a decision when we got back from the military that she started going to the church that she grew up in. Christy, what did you think was going to happen when I got saved? We were definitely going to go somewhere else, okay? Um, But God wanted us here. God chose, I didn't choose, honestly, folks, I did not choose Faith Baptist Church. I did not. Um, God did. And uh, uh, so we don't choose whether we're a member or not. Now, God leads us here, but God makes it plain uh, where he wants you. As a member, you do not decide whether another is a member or not. And each member is to obey the head's commands. Jesus Christ is in control, amen? Larry Hoff is not in control of Faith Baptist Church. Jesus Christ is. If you see Larry Hoff trying to be in control of Faith Baptist Church, get the other officers and come to me and say, stop it. Okay? All right. Verse 22. We'll read the rest of the chapter here, okay? (coughs) Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable upon these we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness for our comely parts have no need but god hath tempered the body together and having given and having that having given more abundant honor to that part which is lacked that there should be no schism in the body but that the members should have the same care one for another and whether one member suffer or all members suffer with it or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. So what is a feeble member? What's a feeble member of the body, okay? And, you know, get to think about that. Um, now, I would say, like, my hand is tougher than my eyeball, right? Wouldn't you agree with that? That's a, that's a fairly good thing. I mean, yeah, my eyeball is squishy, okay? My hand is n- not as squishy, all right? My eyeball is a more feeble member in the fact that it cannot care for itself so much. Um, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't do much other than see. But without the eye, I can't see. So I protect it. Right? I have an astigmatism. Now, it's not as bad since I had the laser surgery, but I have to wear sunglasses out in really bright light. Otherwise, I get a really blinding headache. So you know what I do? I protect the windows of the soul so I don't get a headache. I also protect them when I'm doing things with flying objects going around. You'll see me wearing safety glasses anytime I'm doing work around the church. Why? I don't like things to be in my eyes. I don't even like my finger to be in my eye, okay? I don't like things in my eyes. So uh, we can't see with our eyes. We can't hear without our ears. Our, my ears are kind of a feeble memory. I mean, really, what does this thing? How, how many of you have ever known anybody can flip their ear with, with, that, with just like, you know, like doing it, right? I had a roommate when I was in Georgia that could fold his earlobe up into his ear, put a wad of paper in there, and go like this and throw the wad of paper. It was really cool, right? Um, You meet different people, right? But the ear doesn't do a whole lot. It might be considered a feeble member. Um, I can't feel without my hands. I can't walk without my feet. I can't speak without a mouth. 
Now, teeth aren't vital to living, are they? I mean, unless you want to eat soup the rest of your day, but teeth aren't vital to living. But we brush them. You ought to, okay? You ought to clean them and care for them. So why? You have a better quality of life. Listen, I like meat. I mean, soup is good, okay? But soup is better when it's got what in it? Meat, okay? I mean, I'll take a good broth, but throw some meat in there and <laughs> you got a stew, right? I like that. I like meat. I need my teeth. I take care of my teeth. I do. I brush my teeth every day. I rinse. I, I wash. <coughs> I try and take care of my teeth. Why? I need them. I don't want them to fall out of my face. How about your appendix? How many of you ever had your appendix burst, right? I haven't. I, better, you know why they removed it, don't you? Okay, thank you. But an appendix bursts for no reason. But our immune system is better and fights infections better with one. I mean, we need the appendix. It's not maybe the comely part. I've never seen an appendix out in the open. I mean, don't imagine it's an attractive thing, okay? My nose is attractive, right? But my appendix probably isn't. I know it isn't. I'm being funny, okay? Uh, how about tonsils? Tonsils seem to be removed without consequence, yet those with them are less prone to infections. How many of you still have your tonsils? Wow, a lot of you, okay. For some reason, it was like a big fad when I was a kid. Everybody's got to have tonsils taken out. Okay? I wanted mine taken out just so I could have ice cream for a day. I tried to get my mom and dad, I'm not feeling good. The doctor said, your tonsils are fine. <clears throat> I wanted them taken out. A feeble member may be something that if gone, it won't kill you, but will have an adverse effect on quality of life. There's a lot of members. I mean, if my heart was gone, that would kill me. Okay? If my head was gone, probably wouldn't be alive for very long, right? I'm not a chicken. All right, um, but if my hand was gone, life would go on, wouldn't it? It would go on. It'd be harder. If your appendix is gone, life goes on, doesn't it? Okay, or well, we know this, but I don't know if the appendix had a whole lot to do with that. So, uh, but no, there are things that while they they were gone, uh, they may not have an adverse effect, but they're 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 there for a reason. You need your appendix to fight. Uh, immune system, or it's part of your immune system, okay? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, okay? You need things, okay? Um, but there are things you can live without, but there are things you can't live without. But the things that you can't live without, you still, still should take care of them, okay? Listen, let's just be honest. We could live without Justin. We could. Right? Yes, we could. He's going to be gone all the time. I, I'm saying this because I'm trying to to, to build up a, a tolerance for them being gone. They'll be gone three out of the next four weeks, okay? It's ridiculous. But anyways, um, we could live without him. But he's taking risks with him, so that's really having an adverse effect on the church. And Matty Malachi, that's the most important. But, no, um, a feeble member is something that it may be gone and it won't kill you, but it's still going to have an effect on the church. Listen, when people that are supposed to be here aren't here it hurts look jerry and judy are here every wednesday night it hurts that they're not here okay it does not i mean i, I miss them okay and i don't know what adverse effect it's going to have but are we dead well no okay listen if i wasn't here anymore the church would still go on i like to think that it would struggle for at least a month okay but the church would go on all right so we need to take care of our membership take care of our members what is an uncomely member so for some of us, it could be our nose. For Justin, it's bad hair. Trick knee, right? Um, face for radio. But whatever, there's uncommon members, right? I mean, let's just be honest. There are some of us that are less attractive than others, okay? Um, and there are some that, you know, yeah, whatever. But anyways, that doesn't make them any less a member. But an un un uncomely member is one that may not look the part of the body of Christ, yet so you help them become a comely, a comely member. And now look, not everybody dresses the best for church. And my wife would say, I'm one of those that don't dress the best for church, okay? But, but what we're supposed to do is when someone is learning how to walk with Christ, then we t help them be modest, help them be... Uh, someone that uh, gets rid of the things in their lives and becomes a comely member, okay? We help them. The whole body works together for the purpose of lifting up the head. If we war amongst the members, it hinders the cause of living. 
If we are jealous of other members and their designation, it brings bitterness. If we consider ourselves to be the better parts of the body, we cause division as well. Jealousy and divisions will always hinder the quality of life in the body of Christ. When one member hurts, the body is hurting. And so that's why we pray for each other. When, when somebody's hurting, when somebody's not doing well, so we pray for Miss Linda, Miss Willamay, Miss Mary. We pray for them. Why? They're members, okay? They're members, and we, they need our prayer. All right, told you. What? That was like 10 minutes. Stand up. <laughs>